Uh oh. <laughs> Indy! It did not work out. That is not how it's supposed to be. I really love this because it's got lots of features that I know I'm going to really appreciate. Oh, that was lucky. Come on, come, 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 come. Come lie down here. It's your bed. I know, it's like we're right next to each other now. Mountains with my trusty sidekick. Indy and I are heading out for an overnight camp. We are going to be testing out the Travel Bird Sky Nest Hammock Tent. Although it's springtime, the weather's going to drop down to zero degrees tonight, so it could be a cold one. We're also expecting rain. I love going out camping in the rain. You guys that have seen my channel before know that. And there's even the chance of a small thunderstorm. I've got about an hour's walk ahead of me, but you guys can put your feet up, make a cup of tea, and settle back for a lovely time in the outdoors. I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. I want to show you something really cute. Indy goes on ahead, but because she's a sheep dog, she uh, has to herd me, so she comes back to check I'm okay. There she is. Hi, baby. You come to round me up. She goes round the back of me and then carries on. So this track, which if you guys haven't seen my channel before, is in New Zealand. I'm in the South Island of New Zealand. And this track, it heads through the bush before dropping down to a river. And then we've got this uphill section before it opens out onto the flat in a nice big clearing. And it's in that clearing that I'm going to look for a place to camp. Well, this is our spot. Right. Uh-oh. <laughs> Indy! It did not work out. That is not how it's supposed to be. I think it's a combination of needing to get it higher up there and bringing, bringing this along. I'm going to start by raising this side. So in case you're watching this and shaking your head and thinking, you're putting it too low or do it up tighter. I am not a seasoned hammock camper, so I am happy to show you this hammock and what I know of it, but don't look to me for professional advice. <laughs> it's actually a good height because I can still sit down onto it. Hello. Have you just worked out that this is not for you? What are we going to do with you? Hey, what are we going to do with you? Do you think I might have bought a special bed for you? I have.
I'm quite low to the ground, but I like that. I like that because I want to be close to Indy. And she's going to be sleeping underneath me on her own bed. Right. I really love this because it's got lots of features that I know I'm going to really appreciate. So one of them is this bug netting. So it zips up around there so that you've got a fully enclosed um, bug proof sleeping area. The tarp is attached. You can, you can take the tarp off. If you, if you undo that zip where the bug netting is, you can, you can separate the, the hammock and the tarp from each other. Excuse me, could you be patient please? Could you? Are you wanting a treat? I can't treat you now that you were rude. You just, no, no, you need to wait and then I'll give you a treat. I'll just finish what I'm saying and then I'll be with you, Indy. Um, yeah, so the, the tarp is attached. So there's another carabiner here and I'm just going to attach it to the loop that's one up from where I put the hammock. Oh, would you like some red wine or some smackos? Which one? Which one do you want? Which one do you want? Those flies are so annoying. I think I could kill one. Where are they? So annoying. I can't work out if they're the same two flies that have followed me all the way from the car or if they just hunt in pairs <laughs> and it's different ones. Either way, their lives are hanging by a thread. They will not last long. All right, Indy, I don't think you want wine, do you? These are smackles. Dogs go waggle for smackles. Thanks you guys to those of you who have um, bought Indy some camping treats. Thank you from Indy. Okay. She'll go through that so quickly. I'll give her another one soon. So there you go. That's my treat. <laughs> my wine amongst other things. And um, Indy's got some schmeckos. Sit. <gasps> Good girl. You even lay down even though I didn't ask you to. I actually really love these trekking poles. Uh, excuse me? Um, no one's paid me to say that. <laughs> Bought these with my own money. I really like them. They're called Traverse. I got them from hunting and fishing in New Zealand. And they're carbon fibre. What I love about them is they extend really long and they're really quick and easy. To change the height of. So if I'm going uphill or downhill I want my poles to be different lengths and they've also got a really nice soft grip. I could tie this to the tree but I'm not going to because um, there's a bungee on the end it's elasticated and I think from what I could tell yesterday when I put it up it's so that when the hammock swings if the tarp is pulling um, you've got some give so I think it's a good idea to peg it into the ground or if I was going to tie it to the tree I'd really need to tie it by the bungee so it's still got that spring. what happened to that rain. We got a little bit while we were walking in but there
it was supposed to be a thunderstorm. Maybe it's still coming. <laughs> There's a little bit of sun just peeking through the clouds. It's actually lovely. So we may or may not get that rain. We'll just have to wait and see. But um, for now, because we don't have the rain, I'm going to set up just over here, outside of the tarp. But if it starts to rain, I'll come back in under here. You coming to the river, pup? Come on, you see. We got a stick. Thanks, Andy. <laughs> Andy's upstream of me. It doesn't make for very clean water. You having a drink? Good on you. You keep going. It's fine. You do that. I just don't want your downstream water. I'll go up here. So I'm going to pull the blanket in under here and I'll also show you how you can detach the hammock so that you've just got a tarp because I actually I want that headroom. this. Well, I can actually. I've left my spoon behind. I deliberately did not bring knife, fork, spoon, everything. I just thought, no, a spoon will be fine. Just a spoon. Now I don't have my just spoon. Oh, that's so frustrating. wants to play and so we'll play. Come on. <laughs> All right, you ready? Got it. It's quite sharp.
is. Ah, oh, lovely. Hello there. Are you having fun out there? Hmm? Are you having fun? Did you get any of those flies? Well, you might have actually. You want to come lie down with me? Or am I boring? I don't mind if I'm boring. You go have fun. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't capture that for you. She she toddled off, and then she sort of did this like jump over to her stick, like really playful. I thought she was going to retrieve it and bring it back to me to ask me to throw it, but she's just lying out there in the grass, kind of just nursing that stick, just holding it close to her, like a treasure. This is good. I so nearly didn't come today. Do any of you guys ever feel like the work is never done, like the jobs are never done? No matter how hard you work, there's just always something else to do. And I nearly didn't come today because there's just so many silly, they are silly, silly, ridiculous life jobs that I need to get done. And I have to credit my husband because it was he who said, he said, oh, oh so you're going camping tonight? And I said, oh, I, I don't think I'll go. It's like, why? He said, well, because there's so much to do around here. I just... I can't really justify going away. There's so much to get done. And he really encouraged me to go, and I'm so glad he did. Hello. Oh, that was lucky. Come on, come, 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 come. Come lie down here. Yeah. Hello, darling. I'm so glad he encouraged me to come away because, you know, I could have stayed at home and cleaned out that cupboard, organized that system, sorted out that thing. <laughs> but there'd just be another thing, wouldn't there? Just another thing around the corner. And this is exactly what I needed, just a break away. I still have things to tidy and organise, you see, over here, you guys. I'm not the world's um, most, like, compact, organised camper. I tend to spew everything everywhere, but... <sighs> Somehow out here it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Don't put off going outdoors because you haven't finished your jobs. Prioritise it. That's my suggestion. If you can, prioritise it because I think when you are, I don't know, when, when you've got perspective on life, it's easier to get on and get things done. And being outdoors like this, it just it really helps to give me perspective.
the easiest spoon to eat with, but it'll work. It's crazy how grey the clouds are. The sky has been grey this whole time, threatening rain. It's unbelievable that it actually hasn't rained. I've checked the weather forecast and it says that it's going to rain at 4 a.m. through till about 7 a.m. tomorrow, like fairly solidly, and then drizzle. So we'll see. annoying or something Andy. I've set Indy's bed up and I've set my bed up so we're actually ready to go to sleep. Hello. going to sit here and enjoy this view. It's absolutely beautiful. Hello Bobby. Hello Bobby. I'll see. I might make myself a hot drink. Not sure. But I will boil some water. I really love having a hot wash. Washing my hands, washing my face before I go to sleep. That's a good feel. Oh! I'm just going to push your bottom out. There you are. Hey, that's good. That's good.
All right, now you need to stay in there, okay? <laughs> oh, you're so cute. There you go. That's going to be good, isn't it? Good girl. I know, it's like we're right next to each other now. I'll show you around the inside of the hammock tomorrow morning because it's a bit hard to see at night with the iPhone. Good night. See you in the morning. Trying to work out if it's raining again. There's rain clouds just rolling up through the valley. I woke up this morning at about two o'clock in the morning and it was pouring down with rain. It's lovely. It's really cozy inside the hammock. And then at about 6am, 
I woke up and it was actually very, very lightly snowing. You can see all the new snow. It's just a thin layer, but you can see new snow up on the mountains just around us. It is springtime in New Zealand and it's getting to the end of springtime, but you still expect light snow dumps right through spring and sometimes into early summer in the mountains in New Zealand. It's amazing how much colder it is this morning than it was yesterday. Going to bed last night I was pretty warm and then this morning oh, Definitely a cold southerly snap came through. It is really cold. I don't think I'm going to take this hammock out when I'm camping with Indy and heavy rain is forecast because I think it's going to be miserable. The hammocks are great. I mean they have definitely have their advantages and I know there's a lot of people that really enjoy sleeping in hammocks great to be off the ground um, but one of the things that I don't love about it is the fact that you can't get access to your gear really easily um, and so you've got to store your gear under you and then if you have a dog and you're trying to store them under you <laughs> keep them dry as well it's a bit tricky but looking at the pattern on the ground of where things are dry this system on the corners I was expecting the rain to sort of flood down there, but it doesn't. It seems to run off, um, obviously not now because of the um, trekking poles, but it just it runs off the sides and it doesn't seem, and it, I think because the ends are higher, it doesn't seem to run down those ends. So there's this lovely dry bit of ground all the way through, um, all the way through out to, to over there. So another like a metre out that way and a metre out that way, 70 centimetres or so. So I think actually you want to have things long and thin and maybe that's what I should have done is put Indy at the end, like where my feet were. After saying that I didn't think I would bother getting a stick and trying to whittle it to make a spoon, I have created a somewhat of a uh, spatula lifter flipper. It's not very good.
Well, the dishes are done. The pack up is done. Everything except the hammock itself. This hammock is called an all-in-one hammock tent. And that's because as well as being a hammock and having a built-in tarp, you can also use it as a tarp tent. I think I'm going to save that for another day. So we'll give that a try on another camp. So hey here. You can just take that, what you see there. So just the tarp, have it up, hang out under there, do your cooking, do your dog cuddles. And then at night time, bring it down and make it into a tent. Um, I'm going to have to check out the instructions for how you do that because I can't really sort of see. <laughs> I can't see. I can't see where the where the trekking poles would go. Okay, better shake off the tarp. And get it as dry as possible and then pack that down. Bird for sending me this hammock. Full disclosure, they did send it to me for free and I'm very grateful. I thought you guys might like to see this. Travel Bird haven't paid me anything. They didn't even um, ask me to say anything in particular about this. They just wanted to give it to me to use in my video, to showcase for you guys and to give them some feedback. So thank you to them I do really like the product I want to use it a few more times to really decide what I think of it um, but so far so good it's a nice little product and it is little it only weighs one and a half kilograms the whole thing How does it stack up against other hammocks with tarps? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't used any others. <laughs> wow, that wind really has come through. I'm so glad we didn't have it last night. I would have really disliked being in the hammock in the wind. I think. Well, that's it. I am all done. Hey, thank you, all you amazing people. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end and watching my video. I hope that you had a wonderful time. I hope that this, whatever it ends up being, 45 minutes hopefully this was a nice rest from the rest of life as it was for me thank you so much to those of you who've subscribed and if you haven't um, maybe you'd like to so you can see Indy and I out on other adventures we've got more stuff coming up that we're looking forward to sharing with you thank you for sharing this channel and this video with other people I really appreciate it and thank you so much for the beautiful comments that I always get. Uh, you guys know I appreciate those so much. Um, as my channel is still quite small, I am able to answer them all. It's taking me longer. I have to tell you, it's taking me longer. So apologies if it takes me a while to get to them. I'm always going to answer all the comments, but it may be that there's a time the time may come where they have to be very short answers so if I do just say thanks please know it really is a thanks I might just not be able to um, to answer all your questions um, that you leave but if you do have things that you want to know um, feel free to ask them in the questions because even if I don't have the time to answer them there 
um, I can address them in the videos. Thanks to those people that have left India and I some um, money on buy me a coffee so that we can get some treats. We appreciate that, don't we? It's nice to have some little added extras on our camps. Um, thank you to our YouTube Super Thanks donors and to our Buy Me A Coffee channel members. I hope you guys know how much I appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you too, Indy. You've been great company. You have been fun. And it's time for us to go. We have the sun, but we have the wind for our walk out. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the rest of my channel. I've got playlists on there. Whatever you feel like. If you want to go on a rainy camp, if you want to go on a snow camp, if you want to head away hammock camping, tarp camping, camping without a tent, camping in a bivy bag, they're all there. So make sure you check them out. I'll link a couple here that I think you might like. All right, everyone, take care from Indy and I. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Adventure OT.